All right, today I'm going to show you how to validate an on-chain ID that you have set. If you want to go that far and do that. Again, this is really easy. It's a lot easier than it looks. So first thing we're going to do go to chain state. We're going to go to identity over here and get a list of the registrars. We're going to do this on West End. Um, Polkadot, Kusama, all that will be the exact same thing. Over here, I'm going to change this side to get the list of registrars. Hit this plus. Now you can see that there is one registrar on West End. Here's his address. He charges one. We're going to copy this address. I'm going to go to the address book. I'm going to add him as a contact. Put in his address right there. Name it whatever. Save that. Now it's going to pop up. You can see this is registrar zero. Had there been a list, first one would be zero, second one would be one. Third one would be two. It just goes in that order. Now that we have him in our contacts, we can look over here, see how to contact him. You're going to need to do that after you send this through. So now we have that information right there. To actually send through this transaction, we're going to go to extrinsics. Again, go to identity. Change this over here to request judgment. We want to do it for this account. Registrar index is going to be zero because he's registrar zero. His fee was one, so that's what we're willing to pay. We're going to submit the transaction right here. Sign and submit that. That's it. And then from there, you're going to need to use, again, your address book information somewhere here to get in touch with him to start the registration process. I mean, I'm sorry, the validation process. That's it. Simple and easy.